Welcome to episode two of the Bushcraft Challenge between me and Dano. I'm out here at the fort today. This location for this challenge actually serves two purposes. I'll get into those in a sec. My challenge for Dano this time around was to do a chair build. Not just any chair build, it's gotta be an instructional video, kind of a how-to to show you guys how it's done so you can make your own. Typically when doing these chair builds, you'd have all your tools at your disposal. Just to up the challenge a tad, uh, only two cutting tools are allowed. So for me, I'll be using my Agawa 24 and my SHW Bavarian Forest Axe. Not using a knife for this one. I figure I can live without it. So enough with the introduction. Let's go gather some logs and get to work. The first reason I picked this location, I, there's an abundance of fallen timber here. Like this was took me 10 minutes to go collect. The saw makes short work of these logs out here. They're nice and dry. So yeah, that's reason number one. Reason number two is this challenge is twofold. I will now have a chair for my fort, so it's a win-win. Anyways, let's get started. So for these bushcraft chairs, you want some fairly sturdy logs. These are about forearm thickness. It'll hold my weight nicely. And you want to cut four about chin height. It varies, depends how big and long and tall you want your chair. But I've done these before, and for me, about chin height works. That's about two and a half saw lengths for me. So mark those out, let's get them cut. Once you have your four logs, you want to taper them so they sit flat in a V. I'm going to use my axe for that. You want to do that to all four. I think I need to invest in a smaller axe. I need to get myself a hatchet. That's a lot of work slugging that guy around. So now I'm gonna go ahead and carve a notch in the back side of these. The taper edge is down here, and the notch is so the paracord has something to bind into. Now the notches are done, now time to bind it together. Now you take your two flat ends, stick those together, and you wanna make this V shape. So this is where not having a knife becomes a hindrance. I'm gonna have to use my ax, and you wanna be very careful <laughs> cutting stuff with an ax like this.
There's one done. Gotta do the second. Your next step, you want to put a cross member about 12 to 14 inches up from the very bottom. I am going to notch out this, these logs so this has a place to sit and seat in really nicely. You want to make sure you don't go too deep, compromise the integrity of your structure, because that is where all your weight's going to be. That You're going to be sitting on that cross membrane. Now you want to go ahead and lash this into your notches. For that, I go forward. Around. And make an X. And around. You do that a couple times, get sure, make sure it's nice and sturdy. Once you've gone around a couple times, stay on top of the big base and just go around your paracord around the X. And it really cinches it in tight. And then tie her off. And again, go under and start that X and do a few wraps. Around, change direction on the X. And then just around the base of the X top of the main log underneath the little one and pull tight go around again get it nice and lined up to your tag end and tie her off Now you want to feed this end over top of your brace. And find another stick to lash to here. And this basically locks it in place so it doesn't slip around on you.
there you have it. That is the basic structure of my bushcraft chair. Looks a little hokey at the moment. I gotta cut down the seat, make that a little shorter, and I gotta cut down the legs because I did make it a little too tall. But it's gonna be comfortable. These are great chairs, it's super easy to build. Now for the seat, I'm going to go about yay wide, split this in half. So there you have it. That's a quick step-by-step -step how to video on how to build a bushcraft chair. A little bit of paracord, a few down trees, and some knots, really. It doesn't take a whole lot. Having a knife is a lot safer to cut your paracord for the purpose of the challenge with only two tools allowed. So I cut this paracord with my ax. Yeah, let's test her out, see if she holds 200 pounds. It's great, it's solid holding 200 pounds it's not even rickety at all it's kind of a recliner super comfortable so now i got to disassemble it to get it in my fort because it's not going to fit through the doorway it's all on you now dano my challenge is done success comfortable holding my weight only use two tools my saw and my axe and a bit of paracord look forward to seeing what you come up with